A man police call a confessed killer made his case in court today. Now this evening we're hearing from the victim's family after an emotional day. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. Patrice Dayton has the week off. Police say Connor Scott walked into a police station and confessed to killing a 20 year old woman. That was one week ago in Danville, Indiana. He told officers he killed Kaylin Whitaker back on Halloween of 2014 in Martinsville, Illinois. He's been in the Clark County, Illinois jail on a $1 million bond since then. News since Jada Huddleston has Scott been following this story. She's live in our newsroom now after hearing today's court hearing. She joins us now with more on the latest and what happened. Scott waived his rights for a preliminary hearing and a formal arraignment and entered a not guilty plea. This sends his case to a jury trial. I did speak with Whitaker's family today. They say they're just glad justice is finally going to be served. Leslie Roberts is Kaylin Whitaker's mother. She was at Connor Scott's court hearing Monday. Roberts says Scott seemed to show no remorse. She says it was difficult to even look him in the eyes. And I don't know what to think about that because what he did to Kaylin and how he ended her life. We'll never see her again, ever. She's gone. It was a difficult day for family and friends, but they say the hearing was what they've been waiting for. We want him to wake up every day and realize what he did to our precious daughter, Kaylin, that he'll have to wake up and realize, slap him in the face, I'm here for a reason. I killed someone. After years of waiting for answers, they're happy the full story is finally out. We had to sit for so long for people just thinking that she did this. I mean, all of her close friends and family, we knew, you know, but just the people that didn't know her. We're just happy now that, you know, the, the true story is out and he's hopefully finally going to get, you know, what he deserves. A future without Kaylin is one they never imagined, but they'll continue to keep her memory alive by sharing happy times. Always joking, and if you were sad, she always wanted to put a bright smile on, smile your, face. on your face. She'd oh, yeah. find ways to do that. That was Kaylin. And I think that her friends would say the same thing. That's why she had so many friends, because she was contagious. Scott remains in the Clark County Jail. A judge has set a pretrial hearing for April 24th and a jury trial for May 14th. Of course, News 10 will continue to follow this story. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jada Huddleston, News 10.